So um, the next kind of short-term goal for us is to talk about some order theory. So we're going to define what a relation is. We're going to talk about linear orders. We're going to talk about uh, well orders. And the goal of that, again, is to talk about what an ordinal is. It's going to be a, a certain type of well-ordered set. And um, uh, we're also going to prove some stuff about cardinal arithmetic. But what we, I'd like to do in this video, what, something that's interesting to think about, is um, why do Cartesian products of sets exist? So maybe you remember uh, in a discrete math class or an intro to proof writing class that um, uh, a relation is a subset of the Cartesian product of a, cer of a certain set with itself, say. Um, well, why do we know that the Cartesian product even exists as a set? So that's, that's kind of what, what I'd like us to think about today. Um, so what is the proposition? The proposition that if x and y are sets, well, then um, the Cartesian product x times y, which by definition is just all of the ordered pairs x, y, where little x is in big X, and uh, little y is in big Y, this is a set. So this is what we want to prove. So proof. Um, well, we're going to do a little bit of side work first, but so it's kind of maybe good. This is a bit of a, I don't know, it's always kind of confusing because we're going to, uh, uh, I don't know, it's, I, I always feel like arguments like this are a little bit strange. But what is the goal for this problem? Um, our goal is what we want to show is that the ordered pair, which we know is a set, so we, so, so we want to show that the ordered pair x, y, and recall, what does this mean? So, so, as, uh, so thinking a set theorist for a second, the ordered pair x, y, um, by definition, that's equal to the set containing the set. This is equal to the set of the set containing x and uh, the set containing x, y. Why was it equal to this? Um, uh, I, think, I think we talked about this in the first or second video. I can't remember. But we defined it like this because these sets satisfy an important property that we'd expect ordered pairs to satisfy. So that's why we gave it this definition. But we want to show that the ordered pairs x, y are in some bigger set that we know exists. Are in some bigger set that we, that we know exists. Why is this our goal? Well, a lot of these proofs end up uh, going by showing that everything that we cared about is in some bigger set, and then using the uh, the comprehension schema to imply the existence of the set that we cared about. So if we if we can show that all of the ordered pairs x y are in some big set, then by the comprehension schema, the Cartesian product is going to have to be a set. So, so maybe just to say one more comment about that. Remember that the comprehension schema, um, you have to have another set first in order to apply the comprehension schema. If you don't uh, have that additional set, you can run into things like Russell's paradox. And uh, uh, I don't think we talk, maybe we'll talk about that later, but maybe you've heard of that. Uh, and uh, uh, we don't want that to happen. So we need, we need kind of a, a slightly weaker form of comprehension. Okay, uh, how do we do this? So well, we're kind of doing some side work for a second. So let's fix x. Uh, let's fix x in big X and y and big Y. The first thing to note, just kind of by definition of what it means for little x to be a big X, is that um, is that the set containing x is a subset of x, and uh, the set x y that's a subset of x union y well just a i think when we talked about the axiom of union we proved that we can take two sets and union them together but let's uh, uh for old time's sake 
let's uh let's go through that argument again why do we know that x union y exists well if we take uh if we take our two sets x big x and big y by pairing the set containing x and y exists but then by the axiom of union we can union that set together and that's exactly what x union y is so we know that these two things are both true and so by definition of the power set set containing x um, and so the set containing x and the set containing xy these are both elements of the power set of x union y and we know that this this set exists by the power set axiom so how does this help us well what does this tell us about the ordered pair the ordered pair xy by definition is equal to the set of the set containing x and the set containing xy this is a subset of the power set of x union y why is this true well what does it mean to be a subset of something each of its elements has to be uh, an element of, uh, of the thing to the right and well what is the well what is the thing to the right it's the power set of x union y well if we take any two elements the the ordered pair x y has two elements well, the first element, the set containing x, that's an element of the power set of x union y. And then the same thing with uh, this thing here. It's also an element of the power set of x union y. So what we're going to use is the definition, I guess, of what it means to be in the power set one more time. And this is going to be our, our key fact. So hence, the ordered pair x comma y that's going to be an element of the power set of the power set of x union y. So remember, you're in the power set of something if and only if uh, you're in the subset of the thing that you kind of that you cared about. And in our case, uh, the thing that we cared about is this power set of x union y. The ordered pair is a subset of this, so it has to be the element of the power set of that thing. Okay, so now we can uh, finish off strong with uh, the comprehension schema. So this is our key fact. I want to erase it. So what is, how do we finish off the, the proof? So I guess the proof is really only one line. We just had a big, uh, a, a lot of side work, but what's the proof? The proof is the ordered pair X comma Y by definition. Well, this is going to be the set of all Z in the power set of the power set of X union Y, uh, such that what's true, such that maybe I'll write it in a different color such that there is some x um, in big X, there is some y in big Y, uh, so that, such that, uh, such that z is equal to the ordered pair x comma y. And what we have is that this is a set by comprehension. So this is a set by comprehension. Uh, but then we're done. That, that's exactly what we wanted to show.